Now we're ready to do our create topographies. And so the first thing we need to do is make a, uh, get started with the file that we were working with before I gave it to you so that we're all starting from the same place. And I'm going to save that as, and I've called it the topo start file. So now I'm just going to change that and um, give it my initials. Okay, and so I know that this site plan here is really my property lines. So let me duplicate that view and call it property lines. Sorry, I'm going to rename that one property lines. And then I've duplicated the view. I just clicked on it and said duplicate the view. And I just did the plain duplicate. And now I'm going to rename that one as topography. And so now I'm going to actually put elevations in all around. So I need to sort of know what they're going to be. I'm going to bring this down so that I can see it. Actually, um, I'm just going to show you where I'm getting this information from. Here's where I'm getting it from. So I'm just going to pull that down and out of the way to my other screen. But this tells me the elevation at all of the points. So I have to go by that. So to put in a topography, an actual land mass, I'll go to Massing and Sites. Topo surface. And then I'm going to place some points. And these are going to be the elevations. So I start at 10 feet. And I put a point in. And my next one says it's 14 feet. And then I've got a 16 feet. Two of them. And then I've got 18 feet. And it's 18 all along the back. You can see it's starting to make a topography. Then I go with a 16. And a 14. And an 11, which is kind of kind of like at that midpoint. And then a 10. And then I get two feet here and here. Three foot three. That's 3.25 feet here. Four foot six. That's 4.5 feet. And then it's 4.5 feet all the way around. And I can just put a lot of these on here to make it all of that curve and then it's four foot six all the way around to there and then here it's three point three foot eight which is uh three point six six there so that's what the topography is going to look like Now I have to split, you know, this isn't quite right. This isn't part of it. So I'm going to split that off. I'm going to split this surface. And I'm going to draw a split line. I, I need to split it right along there. And then I can just eliminate that. So there we go. I've got, I've got it. Let's see what it looks like. First, I'm going to save it. So that's a topography. I've made the actual surface of what that looks like. That's kind of cool. 
And that's often how it is, right? Everything drains down to the middle. It's where your sewer system runs. It goes out there. So that's all kind of cool. And you can still see, I can still see my topography lines. If I need them to look a little bit more bold and these a little bit more light, I can fix that. I know how to do that. Right click, override graphics of that element. And I think those are um, surface patterns. So I can lighten those up a little bit. See how that looks. Nope, that wasn't the surface pattern that I wanted. I'm going to go cancel that. Let's do that again. Uh, now I don't know which ones it is. If it's maybe it's the projection. Get there. I'll go back and I'll look at these. Yeah, there we go. We want to see them, but not super, super dark. So we'll play along with those. Oh, I see I have to split another one here. Split the surface. This one. Take a line to split it on. And click OK. And then delete that other surface. There we go. Now I've got it. So that's your first thing to do. After that, uh, it asks you to put building pads in six inches higher than the ground, and about 1,200 square feet. Well, that's like 30 feet by 40 feet. So we're going to take up a lot of these with that. So here's a building pad, and I have to kind of know where it's going to be at. So I'm going to put a contour label down here. And so if it's going to be over here, I'm going to have to be like 11 at 11 feet and make that pad. Doesn't have to, it, it's got to be high enough everywhere. I'll fix the grading later on, but I need my building pad to be in there. So that's a building pad. Its height is going to be 11 feet. I'm just going to make something that sort of looks... 30 by 40 ish. And if it doesn't come out quite right, you can just click in there and type it to 30. Now I have a building pad. Take a look at that in 3D. There it is. So you can see it's this is pretty steep. I might be doing some cut and fill, but that's kind of common. Sometimes you've got you're going to have to, uh, you know, build that foundation so that it really comes up in the front and over here because you can't have this down below the dirt. Got to be above. Let's come back again. So um, I don't know if I can copy. I can copy that. Now, let's see, that one might be a little bit below the ground. I'll bet you that one has to be a little bit higher. See, that one has to be at 12. How would I know? I'm looking at these, so now if I look at that one, 13, oh, it's got to be at 13. Probably 13.5, but I'll go back and fix those later. So click, copy, find a spot and just move it. And it can come down a little closer to the front if I want. They don't all have to be in the same place. You can kind of put the building pads wherever you want. Okay, now here's an interesting thing. We're going to have to put in what lot that is on, 987. That's going to go in the comments. It's going to be in lot seven. This one is lot eight. This one is lot nine. 
go look at our 3D. There we go. So it's coming along okay there. All right, so that's the job is to put all of those in. That's to create the topo and put in building pads all the way around. And you're going to do it on a new view called Topo View. Okay, and we'll we'll be able to come back and change some of these and make them different colors and things like that later on. But um, I think it's easiest mostly just to copy these. And then you might have to rotate it. Like that one probably doesn't belong right like that. You can rotate it, start your line, and then rotate it some. Or maybe we want to rotate it like this and just move it back on the on the pad, thinking that the driveway would run in. You can do whatever you want with that. Now, this one probably has to be at a much higher elevation. Sixteen feet. See, I'm using the information to keep going by and getting these. So now I need to click on that. Comments. Lot nine eight seven six. And um I don't know why it's not giving me my chance to change the elevation of Uh, but that's okay. We'll play around with that. Let's see what it looks like over here. Yeah, that one looks like it's below the ground. I need to put that pad. There it goes. Now I've got it. 16. Be sure you're clicking on the pad. Oh. So I'm I'm showing the architect where these are going to go. And this would be planned also for the utilities and the drainage and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so that is how you do it. You need to do it all the way around, putting in those pads. And you can copy or you can build a new building pad each time, but give them each their name. And just figure out how high they have to be by looking at the elevation. This is the line of constant elevation. So this one would be easy. I can just copy that, get it in place. But maybe I want to rotate it. Maybe not. You know, if we're facing north-south and uh, we can really get our solar correct that way, that can be that can be a pretty good thing. So I, I sometimes we just want things to be north-south even if it doesn't look perfectly symmetrical on the lot. Here we might go ahead and twist it. Here we'd bring these ones. Okay, so there you go. That's creating topographies. These lines are topo lines, and the building pads are topographies themselves.